Hey guys, it's Robbie here, and this is Brecky Fit Wolf. It is Sunday, so it's time for another week's weigh in. All right, y'all. So, first of all, in case you guys haven't watched any of my other videos this week, Happy New Year's. I hope you all are having a wonderful week, had a wonderful holiday, and are making some wonderful plans for the upcoming year and setting some goals and drinking your water. So, I'm going to be quick this time. Uh, I don't have a ton to go over because I've kind of covered it throughout the week. I've been, especially if you're in my Facebook group and you see the accountability posts, every day this week I hit my calorie goal, I hit my protein goal, I hit my exercise goal. Really proud of that. Um, one day got, so not every day, one day got a little bit below it, but still within a decent range. And um, the other thing I do realize I need to work on a little bit more is water. And I need to work on sleep. I've been having a lot of issues sleeping where all of a sudden I'm not able to fall asleep early and then I'm sleeping in. Like I slept till eight today. Well, I got up at six and then slept until eight um, after being up for like a half hour. So it's it's been really weird this week. My sleep's been all kinds of wonky. But anyway, let's go ahead and just get straight into the weigh-in because... I don't have a lot to say this time. And instead of writing it down, I literally just brought my whole board in here because I'm updating my board again every single time I do a weigh-in instead of it sitting in the closet like it used to. So let's go back to the basics. I started at 376.8 pounds. And today, when I stepped on the scale, I'm now 302.6 pounds. So that means I've lost 74.2 pounds total, and, oh, on here I don't do my weeklies. Huh. Well, either way, I lost two pounds this week. Um, the math is easy because I was 304.6 last week, this week I'm 302.6. So I lost two pounds this week, down 74.2 pounds total. That's a lot of weight, y'all. That's that's a lot. And that means I have 102 pounds. 0.6 more pounds to go until I reach my goal of 200 pounds. Now, as far as the mini goals go, you know, I started setting five pound interval mini goals. And so the first one is to get to 299.6, which I'm super excited for because it's going to be under 300 pounds. And this is the closest I've ever been to it on this weight loss journey. And that means I have three more pounds to go for that. So it's, it's getting close, maybe within two weeks. That'd be cool. Um, maybe within a week, but at least two. All right, so now my Dogwoods goal. As a refresher, Dogwoods is uh, a campground that I'm going to at the end of September, and I want to be healthy for it. I want to be in shape-ish. I want to be closer to being in shape, especially there is a lot of climbing because it's on a mountain. And last time I went, not a mountain, but steep hill. And last time I went, just getting up that hill sucked. So I want to be in a lot better shape for that. And I, I want to look a little bit better, uh, okay, especially if there's swimming, things like that. So my goal weight for that, and this again, I don't like set deadline goals, time-related deadline goals, but I just did an average of one and a half pounds per week to get to uh, this specific goal. So... I am shooting for 249.1 pounds. That would have been, like I said, 1.5 pounds a week from where I started this goal. And so if I do that, that means I have 53.5 more pounds to go. So far, I'm already half a pound ahead since I'm down two pounds this week instead of 1.5. So I'm excited for that. Um, yeah, that's, I'm, I had a great week. Uh, my motivation is still there. I am starting to really think about going to the gym. I keep finding myself pulling up the Planet and Fitness um, crowd meter and checking to see how busy it is in there and talking to people that go that feel comfortable going. So I, I feel like I'm going to be going in there soon. Don't know if it's going to be this week, uh, but soon. But with that, my exercise goals, I still plan on doing the same goals just at the gym rather than at home. Um, and so that will tweak what the specific exercises are because I think the treadmills are actually closed in my gym. 
Somebody said one of the machines were. I forgot which ones. Um, but either way, so like the cardio days right now, I've been walking. And I, I am proud this week. I started the, the exercise, the cardio exercise with walk for five minutes, jog for 30 seconds, walk for five, jog for 30 for a total of 20 minutes or 22 minutes. And I end up upping it so that I would walk for four and a half minutes, jog for a full minute and alternating those. And I was able to do it. I do question how well this jogging is since it's jogging in place. That's why I'm kind of curious about if I can go to the gym and if their treadmills are open to get something with a little bit of resistance, a little bit of an incline because, you know, walking in place, jogging in place, it's still great. I'm still getting my heart rate up. This thing says it jumps up, but it might not be as accurate or as giving you as much resistance as real world jogging. And I think I've mentioned before how I'm kind of, kind of thinking I want to do a, like a 3K or a 5K again. I did one a long time ago, the first time I lost weight, and I would kind of love to do it again. So I, I but I want to be able to jog it, not run. I have no interest in running, but I would definitely love to be able to jog it. So. If I can do it fine in my room, I don't know if that's as accurate as actually on a track or a, a path or whatever, whatever they happen to be on. So I think a treadmill with where you can up the resistance and up the incline, I think that would be a little bit more accurate. But we'll see. Um, either way, still proud of what I've done this week. I still stuck to my guns, worked out even when I was tired, even when I wasn't feeling like it. There literally were days where I'm spent the morning from the moment I wake up until, you know, nine o'clock thinking of reasons why it's okay that I skipped today. And then I still stuck to it. And one thing somebody did point out and that I, I feel like I should point out that I am going to be tweaking is, um, my strength training, I was doing kind of full body every single time and including, you know, a Monday and Tuesday when I do them back to back, uh, and she pointed out that it might not be the best idea to do it that way because when your muscles are already sore, they need time to heal a little bit uh, before tearing them down again for building muscle. So what I'm going to be switching that to is focusing like Monday is going to be upper body, Tuesday is going to be lower body, and then Thursday will be a full body. That way there's a rest day in between those. And I think that will be better for my physical health overall, because, you know, don't want to injure myself in this process, right? Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to injure themselves. All right, so that's basically all I've got for you guys today. Again, not a lot going on right now, besides just me being excited and motivated. I know I'm a little more monotone. Again, Rumi's home and he's asleep. Or if he isn't asleep, I don't want to, you know, bother him. So I'm a little bit more mellow, but just know I am super happy, super excited with the way this journey is going. I mean, we're back to having several consecutive weeks of losing. It's been a while since that's happened. It's been like a week, possibly two, and then oh, a tiny game. So having consecutive weeks of losing I can't even express how happy I am about it. I am very happy and this motivation is still here, especially as I'm seeing the results and have these goals. Like, if you didn't watch that video, having these goals right in front of my face is like, all right, let's, let's do this. I have my reasons. I have my goals. I have my method. I have my plan. It's doable. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you all later.